Hi everyone, I'm Lottie and today we're going to do a everyday Pilates for the abs. So just something that you can do every day if you want to really focus on your core and your abdominals. Um, so it's just 20 minutes of lots of my favorite ab exercises. So let's get started on all fours. So coming around and just finding your all fours position. And we're just going to feel the sense of lift under the core. So drawing that navel towards the spine, not rounding the back, but just feeling a lift so that we're flattening through the back and through the front. We're gonna tuck the toes under and we're gonna do a little hover of the knees just off the mat to wake up the core. So you're gonna feel the upper body a little bit as well. So let's take a deep breath in as we exhale, scoop and just lift the knees just an inch or two off. Inhale, we tap down. Okay, we've got eight of those. Exhale to scoop and lift and we inhale to come down. So just working really deeply, we're going to target the transverse abdominals, the upper abs, the rectus abdominals, and the obliques as well. So just starting to warm up. You want to feel the back muscles working as well. So that's all part of the core working. Last three, exhale, lift. Two. Good, now on the last one, we're gonna hold it there. We're gonna work into those lower abs a little bit more. We're gonna do little tucks of the pelvis for eight. Keep those knees hovering off. Seven, six, really contracting, just that little scoop under. Last four, three, two. You can always rest if you need to, but try and keep up. Last one. And we're gonna lift those leg, lift those knees and come into a little down stretch. Now we're gonna bring heels together, toes apart. And we're gonna do little pikes. So just walk into a plank position a little bit more. And we're just gonna do a little pike up with the hips, small movement, and then back down. So little pikes for seven. Small movement, squeeze the heels together, six. Shoulders down the back, five. Keep breathing, four. Three, heels together, toes apart, small movement, two. And last one, bring it back to neutral with the legs and then bring the knees all the way down. Okay, we're gonna come onto our back and we're going to continue working three. So just slowly rolling down. Okay, so let your body just settle here on your back. We're gonna slide the right leg down onto the mat, slide it down nice and straight. Press down through the leg, keep the pelvis nice and still. Navel to spine, we wanna work the upper abs by keeping the ribs gathering. Okay, now from here, we're gonna press into the left foot, press all yourself down into the mat. So it's like you're energizing yourself down as you float the right leg up. Belly button drawing down towards the spine, inhale to lower. Exhale, we float. Inhale, we lower. Keep everything square. Last four. Last three. So you're working your abdominals by maintaining the position of the body. Last two, press down through your body into the mat. Last one. Now hold that leg down there and float the left leg up. So without moving anything else, left leg floats up. We're going to interlace the hands behind the head. We're going to do small little chest lifts. So exhale, curl, press through that right leg. We're going to come up an inch and back an inch for six, five, keep the pelvis still, four, small movement, keep that left knee over the hip, three, two, and we hold for one. Now you wanna feel ribs gathering up and over. We're gonna do the leg raises again with that right leg. Left knee is bent now, we're in a curl up. We lift and lower, just hovering off the floor. Lift and lower, last four. Energize that leg, keep the pelvis still. Last three. Reach through that leg for two. Excellent work guys, last one and we lower that leg down. Good, rest the head. 
and we're gonna slide that left leg all the way down and come onto the other side. So bring the arms down by your side, bring the right leg up, press down through that left leg, and then we're gonna float the left leg up. So actually, sorry, this leg is down. We're gonna float that left leg up just to start with. So really simple. And we're gonna build it up. So you wanna just check in with the ribs, the lower abdominals, last four, last three. Try and keep tension out of the shoulders and the neck for two. And on the last one, that leg stays down. We float the right leg up, and now we reach the hands behind the head, and we've got our chest lifts. Exhale to curl, and now we've got a small movement, a little bit down, a little bit up. So really tiny, deep movement, curling deeper into the chest. Keep that right leg where it is. Last three, last two, Hold on the last one. Can you get a little bit higher? Float that left leg for six, for five. Reach through those elbows for four, for three. Don't let that pelvis rock and roll for two. And for one. Good. Now we're going to bend that leg. So both legs in tabletop position. We're going to reach the arms forwards. Can you lift a little bit higher? We're going to alternate those single leg stretches, reaching out. So keep the chest up if you can. Work those upper abs, lower abdominals as the leg stretches away. Now we're going to add opposite arm. And in. Exhale. And inhale. Don't let that pelvis twist. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale and inhale. Four more. If you need to rest the head, you've got the option there. We'll keep that curl up. Last one on each side. Good job, guys. And then we're going to come up to a seated position, hands behind the backs of the legs. We press in, we rock ourselves up. So, Coming into some rollbacks, so we're really going to continue to work through the abs. We're going to work into the obliques a little bit as well and add a twist at the top. So bring the hands behind your head. We're going to round the spine and roll back about halfway. So rolling back about halfway, you want to tuck that pelvis. And as we come up, we're going to rotate towards the right. <sighs> Sit in tall as we rotate, ringing through that waist. Back to the center as we roll down. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, we come up, we rotate to the left, and we come back. So it's like a little half roll back. We come up, we twist. So you're going to really feel it through, all through that side of that waist, into those deep abdominals. So it doesn't have to be a big movement. Exhale, back, and scoop. Twist, try and open that chest as you look back. And again. It should feel really nice through that thoracic spine as well, getting into that rotation. Let's do one more to each side and then we're gonna add on. So let's take it back to the right. This time we're gonna come up, rotate to the left again and then we're gonna roll on that side. We're gonna open those arms out and we're just gonna reach back for eight, seven, six, Five, keep the legs still. Four, three, two, one, and reach it tall. Hands back behind the head. Come into the other side. Roll back. Roll up, twist to the left. Roll down on that side as we open the arms. And you're going to do the same little reaches for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, we scoop and roll up, reach the legs away. We've got our rollbacks now. So today for those rollbacks, we want you to stretch the legs, flex the feet, lift the arms. Reach the arms up in a diagonal and look upwards. Start to roll down. Keep that energy up as we roll ourselves down slowly. We reach the arms back, still working the abdominals as you lay flat. Inhale, lift the arms and exhale, peel in your spine up. Reach through the legs, come back to seated. Lift the arms, lift the eye line and keep that gaze up. So we're working a little bit harder through the core as we roll down. Slowly and controlled, the arms reach back alongside. 
we come up, nod the chin, peeling that back off. And we lift the eyes and the arms. We're coming down, reach through those legs. You wanna go as slow as you can. Keep working the upper and lower abdominals even as you lay flat. We're building that control. Lift through the chest. Now we're gonna bring palms together. We're gonna to roll back to the lower back about halfway. Well, a little bit more than halfway. The lower back is on. We're gonna float the legs and we're gonna do little pulses up above those knees. So small movements for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, really small, try not to pulse from the head, work from those abs. Last one, now bring the arms to the side, separate the knees, reach to the right, reach to the left. So it's a little bit of a work into that waist, reach a little bit to the right, reach a little bit to the left, try and keep the knees really still. Working into the sides for four, for three, for two, for one, and let's have a little rest. Release the head and shoulders, and we're gonna go into crisscross. So really gonna target those obliques. And then we're very nearly done. I'm sure you're feeling those abdominals now. So crisscross is our exercise. It's come from the series of five of Pilates exercises. So we're just gonna go right into the crisscross, hands behind the back of the head. Legs are in tabletop, we nod the chin, we keep the pelvis still, we're rotating to the right, rotating to the left, rotating to the right, rotating to the left. Exhale, inhale. So you're twisting, you wanna try and get this to come right from the center of the chest, not just from the elbows. You don't want it to look like this, just the elbow to the knee, because you're not really engaging through those obliques. You wanna go up and across, up and across, like you're trying to touch something, maybe even add a reach through that arm. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest it down. Good, hug those knees, and give yourself a little break, just release through the rib cage. And let's just roll onto the front, just take a little stretch for those abs. So coming into a sphinx position, so you wanna go elbows down, legs are back, so you're just feeling a little bit of a stretch through those abdominals, you may be feeling it quite a lot if we've really worked those upper abs as well. So just sort of feeling like you're pushing yourself through, your chest is reaching forwards, your legs are energizing back. And the last exercise we're gonna do is come into a low plank. So take a deep breath from here. We're gonna come up with the hips, so we're on the knees. And then we're gonna come up with the knees. So we're in that low plank position and we're just holding, we're energizing through the heels, Thinking about keeping your Pilates posture as you hold this plank for five, for four, for three. It's very hard to talk in this position. Two and one. Bring the knees down. Come back into that stretch. And well done, guys. Let's release back into child's pose. So just push yourself all the way up and back. Little stretch out. Sit back on the heels, reach the arms forwards. Let the head rest down. And then let's just slowly roll ourselves up. And just take a moment to sit tall and just feel that core, feel that work you've just done, really helping your posture. So by working those abs, working the core, you're gonna really help as you come into that lovely tall posture as well. So have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much. And I will see you in another Pilates routine soon. Bye.